Is your lover coming today? Hmm. What time? Three. Will you be going out or staying in? Oh, I think we'll stay in. I thought you wanted to go to that exhibition. I did, yes, but I think I'd prefer to stay in with him today. Mm-hmm. Well, I must be off. Mm-hmm. Will you be staying long, do you think? Hmm. About six, then? Yes. Have a pleasant afternoon. Mm. Goodbye. Bye.
Hello. Thanks. Thanks. Ah. Tired? Just a little. Bad traffic? No, quite good traffic, actually. Oh, good. Very smooth. Seemed to me you were just a little late. Oh, am I? Just a little. There was a bit of a jam on the bridge. Pleasant day. Hmm. I was in the village this morning. Oh, yes. See anyone? Not really, no. Had lunch. In the village? Yes. Any good? Quite fair. What about this afternoon? A pleasant afternoon? Oh, yes. Quite marvellous. Your lover came, did he? Hmm, he did. Did you show him the hollyhocks? The hollyhocks? Yes. No, I didn't. Oh. Should I have done? No, no. It's simply that I seem to remember your saying that he was interested in gardening. Hmm, yes, he is. Not all that interested, actually. Oh. Did you go out at all, or did you stay in? No, we stayed in. Ah. That blind hasn't been put up properly. Yes, it is a bit crooked, isn't it? Very sunny on the road. Of course, by the time I got onto it, the sun was beginning to sink, but I imagine it was quite warm here this afternoon. It was warm in the city. Was it? Pretty stunning. I imagine it was quite warm everywhere. Quite a high temperature, I believe. Did it say so on the wireless? I think it did, yes. One more before dinner. Mmm. I see you had the Venetian blinds down. We did, yes. The light was terribly strong. It was awfully strong. The trouble with this room is that it catches the sunlight so directly when it's shining. You didn't move to another room? No, we stayed here. It must have been blinding. It was. That's why we put the blinds down. The thing is, it gets so awfully hot in here with the blinds down. Oh, would you say so? Perhaps not. Perhaps it's just that you feel hotter. That's probably it. Uh. What did you do this afternoon? Long meeting. Rather inconclusive. It's a cold supper. Do you mind? Not in the least. I'm afraid I didn't have time to cook anything today. Oh, by the way, mm -hmm. I rather wanted to ask you something. What? Does it ever occur to you that while you're spending the afternoon being unfaithful to me, I'm sitting at a desk going through balance sheets and graphs? What a funny question. No, I'm curious. You've never asked me that before. No, but I've always wanted to know. Well, of course it occurs to me. Does it? Hmm. What's your attitude to that, then? It makes it all the more piquant. Does it really? Of course. You mean that while you're with him, you actually have a picture of me sitting at my desk going through balance sheets? Only at uh, certain times. Oh, of course. Not all the time. Well, naturally. At uh, particular moments. Hmm. But in fact, I'm not completely forgotten. Not by any means. That's rather touching, I must admit. How could I forget you? Quite easily, I should think. But I'm in your house. With another. But it's you I love. I beg your pardon. But it's you I love. Let's have some brandy. What shoes are they? Hmm? The shoes. 
Där han förmedlade. Där är high heel, han tänkte. Mistake, sorry. Sorry. I beg your pardon. I'll take them off. Not quite the most comfortable shoes for an evening at home, I would have thought. So you had a picture of me, did you, this afternoon, sitting in my office? I did, yes. Not a terribly convincing one, though. Oh, why not? Because I knew you weren't there. I knew you were with your mistress. Was I? You didn't eat very much supper. I had a heavy lunch. How heavy? What a beautiful sunset. Weren't you? What mistress? <laughs> oh, rich. <laughs> no, no. It's simply the word that's so odd. Is it why? I'm honest with you, aren't I? Why can't you be honest with me? But I haven't got a mistress. I'm very well acquainted with a whore, but I haven't got a mistress. There's a world of difference. But you admit, you do admit that you do have. Well, there's nothing to admit. She's a common or garden slut. Not worth talking about. Handy between trains, nothing more. You don't travel by train, you travel by car. Quite. Quick cup of cocoa while they're checking the oil and water. Sounds utterly sterile. No. I must say I never expected you to admit it so readily. Oh, why not? You've never put it to me so bluntly before, have you? Frankness at all costs, essential to a healthy marriage. Don't you agree? Of course. You agree? Entirely. And you are utterly frank with me, aren't you? Utterly. About your lover. Well, I must follow suit. Thank you. Yes, I have suspected for some time. Have you really? Mm. Perceptive? But quite honestly, I... What? I can't really believe that she's just what you say. Why not? It isn't possible. You have such taste. You require grace and elegance in women. And wit. Wit, yes. Wit, yes. Terribly important wit for a man. Is she witty? <laughs> These terms simply don't apply. You can't sensibly inquire whether a whore is witty. It's of no significance whether she is or she isn't. She's simply a whore, a functionary who either pleases or displeases. And she pleases you. Today she's pleasing, tomorrow one can't say. I must say I find your attitude to women rather alarming. Oh, why? I wasn't looking for your double, was I? I wasn't looking for a woman whom I could respect as you, whom I could admire and love as I do you, was I? All I wanted was, um, how shall I put it, someone who could express and engender lust with all lust's cunning. Nothing more. I'm sorry your affair possesses so little dignity. The dignity is in my marriage. Or oh, sensibility. The sensibility likewise. I wasn't looking for such attributes. I find them in you. Why did you look at all? What did you say? Why look elsewhere at all? But, my dear, you looked. Why shouldn't I look? Who looked first? You. I don't think that's true. Who, then?
Richard. Hmm? Do you ever think about me at all when you're with her? Oh, a little, not much. We talk about you. You talk about me with her? Occasionally. It amuses her. Amuses her? Hmm. How do you talk about me? Delicately. We discuss you as we would uh, play an antique music box. We play it for our titillation whenever desired. I can't pretend the picture gives me very great pleasure. Wasn't intended to. The pleasure is mine. Yes, of course, I see that. Well, surely your own afternoon pleasures are sufficient for you, aren't they? You don't expect extra pleasure from my pastimes, do you? No, not at all. Well, why all the questions? Well, it was you who started it, asking me so many questions about my side of things. You don't normally do that. Objective curiosity, that's all. You don't think that I'm jealous, surely? <laughs> Darling, I know you'd never stoop to that. Good Lord, no. What about you? You're not jealous, are you? No. From what you tell me about your lady, I seem to have a far richer time than you do. Possibly. What piece? Come and look. happen if I came home early one day, I wonder? What would happen if I followed you one day, I wonder? Perhaps we could all meet up for tea in the village. Why the village? Why not here? Here? What an extraordinary remark. Your poor love has never seen the night from this window, has he? No. He's obliged to leave before sunset, unfortunately. Doesn't he get a bit bored with these damn afternoons, this eternal tea time? Well, I would. To have as the constant image of your lust a milk jug and a teapot must be terribly dampening. He's very adaptable. And of course, when one puts the blinds down, it does become a kind of evening. Hmm, I suppose it would. What does he think of your husband? He respects you. I'm rather moved by that remark in a strange kind of way. I think I can understand why you like him so much. He's terribly sweet. Mm -hmm. Has his moods, of course. Who doesn't? But I must say, he's very loving. His whole body emanates love. How nauseating. No. Manly with it, I hope. Entirely. Sounds tedious. Not at all. He has a wonderful sense of humor. Oh, jolly good. Makes you laugh, does he? Well, mind the neighbours don't hear. The last thing we want is gossip. Oh, it's wonderful to live out here. So far from the main road. So secluded. Yes, I do agree. This isn't much good. He's married, isn't he? Hmm. Happily? Hmm. And you're happy, aren't you? You're not in any way jealous. No. Good. Because I think things are beautifully balanced, Richard. <laughs> Quite 
Goodbye. Oh, Richard. Hmm? You won't be home too early today, will you? Yes, well, I think. You mean he's coming again today? Hmm. Good gracious, he was here yesterday. Coming again today? Yes. Oh. Oh, well, I won't be home early then. I'll go to the National Gallery. Right. Bye. Bye. Oh, very late. Cream? No, thank you. Why not? I have some. Do I owe you anything? Mrs. Owen just had three jars, plotted. What do I owe you? I've just been watching you play about with your blinds. You've been having a bit of fun and games with your blinds, haven't you? I think you are a little forward. Well, you know me. If I'm not forward, I'm backward. Thank you. You don't fancy any cream, then? Mrs. Owen had three jars. Thank you. Hello, Max. Excuse me. Excuse me, have you a light? Do you happen to have a light? Do you mind leaving me alone? Why? I merely asked you if you can give me a light. Excuse me. I don't like being followed. Well, just give me a light and I won't bother you. That's all I want. Please go away. I'm waiting for someone. Who? My husband. Why are you so shy? Where's your lighter? Here? Where is it? 
Here? What do you think you're doing? I'm dying for Puff. I'm waiting for my husband. Let me get a light from yours. Are you all right, miss? I just got rid of that, um, gentleman. Did he hurt you in any way? Oh, how wonderful of you. No, no, I'm all right, thank you. You're very lucky that I happen to be passing. You wouldn't think that such a thing could happen in such a beautiful park. No, you wouldn't. Still, you've come to no harm. Oh, I'm terribly grateful to you. I can never thank you enough. You're so kind. Why don't you sit down for a second and calm yourself? Oh, I'm, I'm quite calm. Thank you, yes. I will. You're very kind. Where shall we sit? Well, we can't sit out. It's raining. What about that park keeper's hut? Oh, do you think we should? I mean, what about the park keeper? I am the park keeper. Mm. I never imagined I could meet anyone so kind. To treat a lovely young woman like you like that, it's unpardonable. You seem so mature, so appreciative. Of course. So gentle, so utterly kind. Perhaps it was all for the best. Uh, what do you mean? So that we could meet. So that we could meet. You and I. No, I don't quite follow you. Don't you? Now, look. I'm sorry. I'm married. Oh, you're so sweet. You mustn't worry. Uh, no, but I am, really. My wife is waiting for me. Can't you speak to strange girls? No. Oh, how sickening you are. How tepid. I'm sorry. You men are all alike. Give me a cigarette. I bloody well won't. I dick your father. Come here, Dolores. Oh, no. Not me. Once bitten, twice shy. Thank you. Goodbye. But you can't get out, my darling. The hut's locked. You're all alone. You're trapped. Trapped? But you've no right to treat me like this. I'm a married woman. Tea time, Mary. Max? What? Darling. What is it? You're very thoughtful. No. You are, I know it. Where's your husband? My husband? You know where he is. Where? He's at work. Poor fellow, working away all day. I know what he's like. <laughs> I wonder if we'd get on. I wonder if we'd, um, well, you know, hit it off. I shouldn't think so. Why not? You've got very little in common. Haven't we? He's certainly very accommodating. I mean, he knows perfectly well about these afternoons of ours, doesn't he? Of course. He's known for years. 
Why does he put up with it? Why are you suddenly talking about him? Why does he put up with it? I mean, what's the point of it? It isn't a subject you normally elaborate on. I'm asking you again. Why does he put up oh, with shut it? Shut up. I'm asking you a question. He doesn't mind. Doesn't he? Well, I'm beginning to mind. What did you say? I'm beginning to mind. What are you talking about? It's got to stop. It can't go on. Are you serious? It can't go on. You're joking. No, I'm not. But why? Because of my husband. Oh, not because of my husband, I hope. I think that's going a little far. No, nothing whatever to do with your husband. It's because of my wife. Your wife? I can't deceive her any longer. What? Well, I've been deceiving her for years. I, I just can't go on with it. It's killing me. Darling, oh, you... What did you say? You heard. But your wife knows. You've told her all about us. She's known all the time. No, she doesn't know. She thinks I know a whore, that's all. Some part-time whore, that's all. That's what she thinks. Yes, but be sensible, my love. She doesn't mind, does she? Well, she'd mind if she knew the truth, wouldn't she? What truth? What are you talking about? She'd mind if she knew that, in fact, I've got a full-time mistress two or three times a week, a woman of grace, elegance, wit, imagination. Yes, yes, In an affair that's been going on for years. She doesn't mind. She wouldn't mind. She's happy. She's happy. Oh, don't talk so wet. I didn't know you were a northerner. Oh, I wish you'd stop all this rubbish anyway. You're doing your best to ruin the whole afternoon. Darling, you don't think you could have what we have with your wife, do you? I mean, my husband, for instance, completely appreciates that I... How does he bear it, your husband? How does he bear it? Hmm? And doesn't he smell me when he comes home in the evening? And what does he say? He must be mad. And now, what's the time? Half past four. Now, when he's sitting in his office, knowing what's going on here, I mean, how does he feel? How does he bear it? No. How? He's happy for me. He appreciates the way I am. He understands. Perhaps I ought to meet him and have a word with him. Are you drunk? Perhaps I should do that. And after all, he's a man like me. We're both men. You're just a bloody woman. Stop it. What's the matter with you? What's happened to you? Stop it. What are you doing? Playing a game. A game? I don't play games. Don't you? Oh, you do, you do. Usually I like them. I played my last game. Why? The children. What? The children. I've got to think of the children. What children? Well, my children, my wife's children. Any minute now they'll be out of boarding school. I've got to think of them. I want to whisper something to you. Listen. Let me whisper to you. Hmm? Can I? Please. It's whispering time. Earlier, it was tea time, wasn't it? Wasn't it? No. It's whispering time. Oh, you like me to whisper to you? like me to love you, whispering, don't you? Oh, listen, you mustn't worry about wives, husbands, things like that. It's silly, it's really silly. It's you, it's you here, here with me, here together. That's what it is, isn't it? You whisper to me, you take tea with me. That's what we are. That's us. Love me. You're too bony. That's what it is, you see. I could have put up with everything if it weren't for that. 
You're too bony. Me? Bony? Don't be ridiculous. Why not? How can you say I'm bony? Every move you make, your bones stick into me. I'm sick and tired of your bones. What are you talking I'm about? I'm telling you that you're too bony. But I'm fat. Look at me. I'm plump anyway. You always told me I was plump. You were plump once. You're not plump anymore. Look at me. Well, you're not plump enough. And you're nowhere near plump enough. And you know what I like? Enormous women. Like bullocks. With others. Vast, great other bullocks. You mean cows. I don't mean cows. I mean voluminous, great uttered feminine bullocks. Once, years ago, you vaguely resembled one. Oh, thanks. But now, quite honestly, compared to my ideal, your skin and bone. You're having a lovely joke. It's no joke. Drink? I have one, thanks. Oh, what a dreary conference. Went on all day. Still, good work done, I think. Something achieved. Sorry I'm rather late. I had to have a drink with one or two of the overseas people. Good chaps. How are you? Fine. Good. You seem rather depressed. Anything the matter? No. What sort of a day have you had? Not bad. Not good? Fair. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, it's good to be home. Oh, you can't imagine what a comfort it is. Lover come? Sarah! What? I'm sorry, I was thinking about something. Did your lover come? Oh, yes. He came. In good shape? I have a headache, actually. Wasn't he in good shape? We all have our off days. Me too. I thought the whole point of being a lover is the one didn't. I mean, if I, for instance, were called upon to fulfill the function of a lover and felt disposed, shall we say, to uh, accept the job, well, I'd as soon give it up as be found incapable of executing its proper and consistent obligation. You do use long words. Would you prefer me to use short ones? No, thank you. But I am sorry you've had a bad day. Oh, it's quite all right. Perhaps things will improve. Perhaps. I hope so. Nevertheless, I find you very beautiful. Thank you. Yes, I find you very beautiful. I have great pride in being seen with you when we're out at dinner or at the theatre. I'm very glad. Or the hunt ball. Yes, the hunt ball. Great pride to walk with you as my wife on my arm. To watch you smile, laugh, walk, talk, bend, be still. To hear your command of contemporary phraseology and your delicate use of the very latest idiomatic expression so subtly employed. Yes, to feel the envy of others. To watch their attempts to gain favour with you by fair means or foul. And your austere grace confounding them, and to know that you are my wife. It's also a source of profound satisfaction to me. What's for dinner? I haven't thought. Oh, why not? I find the thought of dinner fatiguing. I prefer not to think about it. That's rather unfortunate. I'm hungry. If you don't expect me to embark on getting dinner, do you? After a day spent sifting matters of high finance in the city. <laughs> One might even suggest that you were falling down on your wifely duties. Oh, 
Yeah. Yes, I rather suspected that this would happen sooner or later. How's your hawk? Splendid. Fatter or thinner? I beg your pardon. Is she fatter or thinner? She gets thinner every day. Oh, that must displease you. Not at all. I'm fond of thin ladies. I thought the contrary. Really? Why should you have thought that? Of course, your failure to have dinner on the table is entirely consistent with the sort of life you've been leading for some time, isn't it? Is it? Entirely. Perhaps I'm being unkind. Am I being unkind? I don't know. Yes, I am. You see, in the traffic jam on the bridge just now, I came to a decision. Oh? Yes, I did. What? That it has to stop. What? Your debauchery. Your life of depravity, your path of illegitimate lust. Really? Yes, I've come to an irrevocable decision on that point. Would you like some cold ham? Do you understand me? Not at all. Not even a drink offered when I stepped into the house. I have something cold in the fridge. Too cold, I'm sure. The fact is, this is my house. From today, I forbid you to entertain your lover on these premises. This applies to any time of the day. Is that understood? I've made a salad for you. Are you drinking? Yes, I'll have one. What are you drinking? Oh, you know what I drink. We've been married ten years. So we have. Strange that it's taken me so long to realize the humiliating ignominy of my position. I didn't take my lover ten years ago. Not quite. Not on the honeymoon. That's irrelevant. The fact is that I am a husband who has extended to his wife's lover open house on any afternoon of her desire. I've been too kind. Haven't I been too kind? Oh, of course, you're terribly kind. Perhaps you give him my compliments by letter, if you like, and ask him to cease his visit from the twelfth instant. How can you talk like this? Why? Today, suddenly. You've had a hard day at the office. All those overseas people. Silly to talk like this, I'm here for you. And you've always appreciated how much these afternoons mean. You've always understood. Understanding is so rare, so dear. Yes. That's why our marriage is Do you being suppose so... it's pleasant to know that your wife is unfaithful to you two or three times a week with unfailing regularity? Richard. It's insupportable. It has become insupportable. I no longer feel disposed to put up with it. Sweet. Richard, please. Please what? Shall I tell you what I suggest you do? What? Take him into the field. Find a ditch, a slag heap. Find a rubbish dump, hmm? How about that? Buy a canoe and find a stagnant pond, anything, anywhere, but not in my living room. I'm afraid that's not possible. Why not? I said it's not possible. I heard what you said. But if you want your lover so much, surely it's the obvious thing to do since his entry into this house is now barred. I'm trying to be helpful, my darling, because of my love of you. You must see that. But if I find him on these premises, I'll kick his teeth out. You're mad! I'll kick his head in. How about your own bloody whore? I've paid her off. You have? Why? She was too bony. But you said you liked. You said that you liked... Richard, you love me. Of course. Yes, you love me. You don't mind him, not really. I mean, you understand him, don't you? You understand him, him. That's why, I mean, it's it's not just me. Oh, you, you know better than anyone. It, oh, darling, all's well. All's well. The evenings and the afternoons, you see? Listen, I do have dinner for you. It's ready, I wasn't serious. It's birth a la bourguignon and tomorrow i'll make chicken chasseur would you like that adulterous you can't talk like this you know you can't it isn't possible oh what are you doing what do you think you're doing What's this? I found it some time ago. What is it? What is it? You shouldn't touch that. But it's in my house. It belongs to either me or to you. 
Or to another. It's nothing. I bought it in a jumble sale. It's nothing. What do you think it is? Put it back. Nothing. This? A drum in my cupboard? Put it back. It isn't by any chance something to do with your illicit afternoons, is it? Not at all. Why should it be? This is used. This is used, isn't it? I can guess. You guess nothing. Give it to me. How does he use it? How do you use it? Hmm? Do you play it while I'm at the office? Now, what function does this fulfill? And it's not an ornament, I take it? What do you do with it? You've no right to question me like this. No right at all. It was our arrangement. Please, please don't. Don't. It was our arrangement. I want to know. Don't. Do you both play it? Hmm? Do you both play it together? You paltry, stupid. Do you think he's the only one who comes? Do you? Do you think he's the only one I entertain? Hmm, do you? Don't be silly. I have other visitors, other visitors, all the time, other afternoons, all the time, when neither of you know, neither of you know, all the time. I give them strawberries in season, with cream. Strangers, total strangers, but not to me, not while they're here. They come to see the hollyhocks, and they stay for tea, always, always. Is that so? What are you doing? Is that what you do? Hmm? Like that. Like that. Is that it? What fun. Got a line? Got a line? Oh, come along. Don't be a spoiled sport. Your husband won't mind if you give me a light. You look a little pale. Why are you so pale? A beautiful girl like you. Don't, don't say that. Don't. Oh, but you're trapped. We're all alone. I've locked up. You mustn't do this. You mustn't do it. You mustn't. You mustn't. Oh, he won't mind. No one else knows. No one else knows we're here. No one else can hear. Come on, give us a light. You can't get out, my darling. You're trapped. <laughs> I'm trapped. What will my husband say? He expects me. He's waiting. I can't get out. I'm trapped. You've no right to treat a married woman like this. Have you? Think. Think. Think what you're doing. very forward. Oh, you are. You really are. But my husband understands. My husband will understand. Come here. Come down here and let me explain. After all, think of my marriage. He adores me. Come down here and let me whisper to you. Let me whisper it. It's whispering. late tea, isn't it? But I think I like it. Oh, aren't you sweet? I've never seen you like this before. Never after sunset. My husband's at a late night conference. Yes, you look different. But why are you wearing this strange suit and this shirt? Usually you wear something else, don't you? Take off your jacket. Would you like me to change? Would you? Would you like me to change my clothes? I'll change for you, darling. Shall I? Would you like that?
Yes. Change. Change. Change your clothes. You lovely whore.